The IRS tax filing deadline, or tax day as it's sometimes called, is approaching, so it seems fitting that April is National Financial Literacy Month. Though the focus this morning isn't as much about taxes as it is managing credit wisely. Here with ideas to help you find your financial confidence, personal finance expert Farnoosh Tarabi. Good morning and welcome back. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Why is healthy credit so important? Healthy credit is directly correlated to a healthy financial life. When you have good credit and you have credit worthiness, that positions you well to have access to great borrowing rates, uh, which ultimately can help you more affordably achieve life's milestones. And not just the goals today, but the milestones that we all want to hit, whether it's buying that home, starting a business, uh, going back to graduate school. So it's really, really important that you have good credit health because ultimately it's empowering and it paves a life full of success and riches. How can you tell where your credit health stands now? Well, the first step is to obviously know what your credit score is. It's that three-digit number that determines your credit worthiness and also uh, your eligibility for certain loans and certain credit. But beyond that, I think it's really important to also understand what is driving that score so that you can either improve your credit health or maintain your credit health. And I think that's what's kind of lacking in the marketplace, access to that education. And that's why I've partnered with Chase. They have recently relaunched their Chase Lake card and with that introducing a free FICO score and more service feature where uh, card members get access to a dashboard which gives you your score which is great but also the contributing factors that are either moving your score up or down mm -hmm. access to the key findings from your credit bureau report and the tools tips and insights to really again help you maintain healthy credit what's a what's a good score or a great score and then you mentioned some of those contributing factors that can move the score up or down what are those mm -hmm. well to answer your first question a good score lenders perceive anything that is in the 700s out of 850 to be very good and that will put you in a position to probably get access to some of the greatest uh, borrowing rates out there and, and to be eligible for uh, for various types of credit and loans uh, now to improve your score, if it's anything below 700, I'd say you have some work to do. And one of the first things I would do is automate my bill payments so that I never miss a payment because payment bill history is actually 35% of your FICO score. And the FICO score is what 90% of lenders look at. So um, knowing your score, your FICO score in particular, is an important lens because it empowers you to know, okay, here's what I really have to do to be in uh, the greatest position to get the best loans and the best rates. Another thing that I would do is reduce your outstanding balances. So uh, your credit utilization is about 30% of your score. If you're using a lot of your outstanding credit, uh, then you know you might want to scale back a little bit. So it's really important to pay down those balances. Uh, pay in full if you can. And if you can't, do at least double or triple the minimum every month. We're almost out of time, Farnoosh, but some people might feel like it's moving a mountain. Right, they see this score, they know what they need to do. How long does it take once you start making those better choices to really see an improvement on that dashboard or in your score overall? It's not going to be overnight, I'll be honest, but you know, the credit bureaus are constantly updating their files every month. You know, credit card companies and lenders are reporting every month to credit bureaus. And so it could be a matter of months, uh, depending on where you are, of course, and where, what your goals are. Mm -hmm. it, it's not going to be overnight, but the good news is, is that you have every month there can be improvements. It's doable. Farnoosh, thanks for joining us today. It's doable, yeah. Right. My pleasure, and for more, please check out ChaseSlate.com. We can do it. Thank you for your time. Now, Mike, over to you. All right, thank you, Mary. Today